What's up guys? Today we're going uh, back to the private creek where uh, my dred last couple dredging videos have been. Also the uh, um, last video I put out of testing my Dewalt shop vac. I know I didn't get a lot of footage of me using it, just of uh, the panning. Um, but, uh, I'm going to take it, my pans, shovel and metal detector, um, and I know I told y'all I usually just use a quarter inch classifier, but today for convenience, I'm going to use a half inch classifier. Reason being, I got, excuse me, I got the sniffles this morning. Reason being is that pan fits perfectly in my classifier. And uh, I put that on there like so. And I clip that to my belt loop. Like I said, convenience only. Only reason I'm going with a half inch classifier today. Um, because I'm going to have a lot of stuff with me. And I'm going to be hiking. Uh, it, not that far, but. Which today is probably not going to be bad. It's overcast, less than 80 degrees. Um, had it been 90 something degrees, I don't know what I'd have done, but anyhow, uh, like I said, for convenience is the reason I'm going with the half inch classifier. I will be taking my Dewalt, uh, wet dry vac. I put the ball back on that I had mentioned in one of my videos, I don't remember which. This ball that stops it whenever it gets full or turns over. Um, I had noticed the last video that I, used, or I shot that when it gets full of water, it starts sucking the water up in the pump. And, uh, or whatever the fan or whatever operates it up in there. So, uh, to eliminate that, I put that ball catch back on there. But, um, anybody that's following my videos, uh, and seen me saying that I use a quarter inch classifier because of where we're at and it's such small gold that's why I'm using the half inch I know I'm kind of all over the place but um, that's what we're going to do today uh, my dredging buddy has some personal things to take care of uh, I'm not going to go into that but uh that's the reason we're not dredging today. I'll be glad when we can get back to dredging. We've got a lot to dredge. Um, probably what I'm going to do when we get there, once I get in the creek, I'm going to cut you guys on and show y'all a recap of what we've dredged already. And... Um, kind of get you caught up to speed if there's any new viewers which I hope they are uh, I've got almost 500 400 500 subscribers I don't remember which anyhow and my videos are only catching like anywhere from 30 to 60 views and I'm kind of worried about that I don't know why but uh, I know this intro 
hit in five minutes right now. But bear with me, stay tuned, and uh, see what kind of gold we can find today. Like I said, we're going to be using the uh, Gold Bug 2. Hopefully we can find a source of where the gold's coming from. Maybe get lucky and find something bigger than what we've been finding, but, you know, it's prospecting. You find what you find. All right, guys, we'll see you back at the creek. Last quick note before I take off and bring y'all back to the creek. Um, first of all, I want to give a shout out to uh, Chris Dyer from Dyer Gold Prospecting. Um, he's been watching my videos. I've been watching his. He's in Ohio. I'm in North Carolina. Uh, he contacted me through Facebook. We've talked several times. And I would like to think I've made a friend with him. He's a nice guy. Uh, so for all of you other guys looking for uh, more prospecting videos, if you haven't subscribed to his channel, go subscribe to his channel. It's Chris, uh, excuse me, Dire Gold Prospecting. Um, he's got good content. And uh, he finds some pretty good gold. Uh, considering the fact that he's on Glacier Gold and not uh, uh, Crap, I can't even think of the name of it gold veins and things like that you know y'all know what i'm talking about um and chris i want to apologize that i don't ever comment on your videos but uh it's not out of disrespect i just watch all of my subscribed to videos on my tv and there's nowhere on there to uh, comment, no way to comment. Um, I get a better view. I'm not trying to look at it on a 16 to 19 inch monitor. I'm looking at it on a, uh, my buddy Will next door. Um, not trying to look at it on a small monitor and squint my eyes and see what everybody's getting it. I'm looking at it on a 30 some inch TV screen. Um, so Chris, no offense, no disrespect. I watch every one of your videos. There's just nowhere on the TV set up to comment on your videos. I love them. You're a great guy. Thank you for calling me and uh, enjoyed the conversations we've had. And uh, that's enough for now. Like I said, y'all guys, if y'all not subscribed or haven't seen his channel, go check him out. Uh, Dire Gold Pros Prospecting and uh, see what he's got. Check him out, subscribe to him. Alright guys, I'll see y'all at the creek this time. I promise I'm not coming back until we get at the creek. Alright then. Alright guys, we're at the creek. This is the first hole that we dredged. This didn't have any gold in it. Nothing worth putting a dredge on, let's say that. And the last dredge area was right, right around this corner here. And we didn't, we only, Dredged a couple hours. Y'all seen the cleanup. 
But we're gonna take all of that out, work our way up, up the creek. I know at least if this GoPro pick it up right there to where them roots come across. And uh, I guess if we get that far, we'll, we'll go from there. All right, we'll bring you back on in just a few. Guys, I ain't getting very far very fast. Just trying to read the numbers there on the screen. Um, I've had the metal detector out. Somebody commented, commented in my last video, said I needed to check the flood stage. All this stuff right here was bound against these two trees. So I moved it back, dug a hole, got me some dirt out. There's a few fine specks in there. I apologize, I can't remember people's names. I can remember what they say, but I can't remember their names. But uh, to the subscriber that brought that up, thank you. Uh, I did give it a try. Not much more than in the creek. Um, but I hit around in here kind of working my way up and uh i'm finding barbed wire and hot rocks so uh i hadn't really got too awful far but um sweating like a mule but uh i'll bring y'all back here in just a bit um i'm gonna go on up the creek a little ways with the metal detector, my pan, and my little scoop. And uh, it goes so far, and I'll come back and get my stuff and take it up, and then I'll proceed on. So uh, I'll be back here in just a bit. All right, guys, I know for y'all it's just been a second, but for me it's been a little while. Um, Walked up this creek. I've done this before. The cr creek continues up that way, but that there's a it's like just a runoff, and right there below them roots, I dug me a pan full. Damn, pour water all down my shirt. Good gracious. That's what I found. I've been metal detecting this whole creek the whole time, so that's the reason it's taking me a while. But uh, that's a, a pretty chunky piece there. I think I'm going to do another pan. And, uh, I know I'm beautiful with my hair all screwed up, but sweating and headphones and yeah then yeah i'm gonna hear all that but anyhow uh i'm gonna do another pamphlet we'll see what we get so stay tuned I'll be back shortly all right guys <clears throat> this is my third pan Let's see if i can get it in there not as good as the first one but I've done another pan in between and uh, it had gold in it but about like it's here I'm gonna do one more pan I'm digging under them roots up there I'm gonna back up take the top layer off and dig down see if there's clay in there do one more pan and then I, I got to move on up. I got to keep going. So I'll bring you back if I find some gold. All right, guys. That's what I'm working with. It takes a few minutes to get broke down. It's just clay. 
but it's gritty clay. It's not, it's not a slimy clay. Gritty clay will hold gold. Slimy clay won't. All right, I'm gonna take a breather here for a second and I'm gonna pan this down and uh, see if there's anything in it. If they are, I'll be back. If it ain't, then we'll be at the next spot. All right, be back in a bit. All right, guys, I don't know why I do this to myself. Man, the sun's hurting it there. That was my pan. I said I was going to take one more pan and move on, and I'm lying. That's a little crystal rock to the left. But I got to take one more. I'm gonna snuffer that up, fine tune this stuff, see if I missed anything. One more pan and I got to move on. I, I got I, I got to move on. Alright, I'll bring you back in a bit. Alright guys, let's see if I can get y'all in there to see that. Sand or flash off the burn the camera. I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna walk up the creek for a second. Just walk up there and make a judgment call. Because I'm coming out and I'm still finding gold. Um, I hate to walk away from a spot where I'm finding gold. So uh, I may take a walk, scratch my head, and I come back. We'll know what we're doing. All right, then. All right, guys, I had to come back and do one more pan. What we got. Um, I, I, I'm done panning right here in this spot. Um, the creek goes up and around to the right. And you can walk up that bank and there's a clearing. I think I can take that clearing all the way down to where I'm parked at. Um, I got the stuff in the car except for my high banker. But if I can drive my car up to here and I feel like it in the morning, um, I've got my 20 volt Dewalt drill and I have a uh, tile thin set mixer which would be great for this clay I bought it from Mint Hill but this is the same material that I was in in Mint Hill and getting gold. Just shovel it out into a five gallon bucket, pour some water in it, put the drill, mix it up, and uh, have my high banker set up. And uh, when I get it good and mixed up, just dump it in the high banker. Um, that's my theories and my thoughts, but I got to see if I can get up through here first. Um, I'm going to snuff this up, as much as I hate to walk away from gold, I told you. Um,
we're gonna go up there and make some crevices I want to work with the shot back I'm kindly on a crunch here it don't sound like a crunch I've got to go get my daughter from school at 6 50 uh, yes it's Saturday but she's in the uh, drama club or something like that and uh, they're working on a play and they'll be done at 6 she needs me there at 6 50 granted I'm not that far away I'm only 15 minutes from the house 15 minutes from getting her from the house um, So I'm, I'm kind of on a time crunch slash delay. <laughs> I guess how you'd look at it, but uh, that's uh, kind of where I'm at right now. So let me shut up, snuffle this up, fine tune it, make sure I didn't miss nothing, pack my stuff up, and we'll move up top up there, and uh, we'll get. I'll put my hat back on. Look, y'all ain't, ain't even looking at me. I'll put my hat back on and uh, hopefully get some footage of me using the shop back. So, alright, we'll be back in a minute. Alright guys, here we go. Um, trying to clean these darn leaves out of here. Maybe that got them. All right. Small end. All right, it's gonna get noisy. It will be noisy. <laughs> put the ball thing back in it. I'll pour this dirty water away from where I'm working where I can see. You may not get nothing but hey kind of the whole idea of what I come out here for is this. And uh critters so, I'm in their home let's see here I got that one pretty good that one pretty good up on top. Alright, 
here we go guys I'll find the button <laughs> something from Lowe's last night it's a little stopper I'm gonna drill a hole in the side it's a rubber stopper because this thing's got to have a suction to cause vacuum and uh, she forgot it instead of having to keep doing this I'm gonna drill it either in this corner or on this corner somewhere I'm gonna drill a hole and it being a rubber stopper, I can just pull the stopper out, drain the water, set it back down, put my stopper in it, and go on. That's my theory. Theories don't always work. But hey, sounds like a good idea. And I don't know what kind of critters is out here that bite me, but golly, they eat me up. Whoa, horsefly. Make sure we don't have any more crawdads in here. And we do. See right there. Toss them back in the water. Little baby crawdads, eh? And we got some little, um, oh crud, I can't even think now. Snails. I'm assuming that's what them are. What they look like, little snail shells. But we'll pan them out. Like I said, we might not find no gold, but. You know, I just want, I wanted to try, try this out in this area right here. So, uh, that's what we're doing. Alright guys, instead of me boring y'all to death with it, um, I'm going to put y'all on hold and uh, I'm going to clean the rest of these up. Like I said, I'm kind of on a time crunch. And uh, when I get it put out, dumped out in the pan and uh, pan it out or start to pan it out, I'll bring y'all back. We'll be back in a bit. All right, guys. That's a full pan of material I sucked out of them crevices. I'm not going to bore y'all to death with me panning it. I'm going to pan it down to where there's just the cons look like I got some critters in there they be the first ones to come out um, but uh, get it down to the cons and uh, we'll come back together and see what we got alright be back in a minute about to forget y'all I made my first whirl I said uh oh alright see if we did any good or not it was a waste of time of course I don't never consider it a waste of time being out here there's gold right there look at that all my deck blame rocks in there is going to be tough
on, bub. Yeah, there's a couple pieces of gold up there. Shot. This lead shot down, I can work this sand. Let me take y'all out the hat. I hope y'all can see that. That's what we got. So, I'm going to snuffer that up. And, uh, I'm gonna have to get out of here. I got a feeling it's uh, probably pushing five, five thirty. I'm assuming I could be way off, but uh, to the next adventure, please remember to like, share, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, let your friends know, and. Uh, Till then, y'all enjoy it. Hope y'all find a bunch of shiny. And we'll see you next time. Later. I guess before I sign off, y'all want to see all the gold that I got panning. That's what I got. That's just panning. That ain't a great deal, but hey, I'm happy with it. Alright then, later. Have a good day.